Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Right. Okay. So I bought a Samsung T7. You can see it here. Uh, SSD drive for my iPad, uh, mainly because I wanted to use uh, Pure Synth Platinum and all the other gospel musicians apps. And they all allow you to use an external SSD to store the sounds and read from the SSD as well. So we're going to take a look a look at that as well. But also, you'll, you'll see I've got Blue Beast samples here, stuff like this. But I'm going to explain how to do this right. Straight out of the box, didn't need to do anything else to the drive at all. And I, from this little picture that you can see, it's tiny. It comes with a, it's one terabyte storage. You can get two terabytes as well and 500 meg, uh, gig, sorry. Um, <clears throat> it comes with two cables, USB-C to USB-C, USB-A to USB-C. Now I, for the purposes of this video, I have it plugged into my uh, uh, powered hub. Okay, so it's USB A to USB C. USB A is going into the hub. The hub is going into the iPad, and that's it. And it just reads the drive. Now, if we look at the info for the drive, if I long hold on where it says T seven, and you say get info you'll see that it's a one terabyte drive format is XFAT. I did not need to reformat. This is the format it came with. And you'll see that I have 799 gig available, right? So from my original idea of being able to use the drive just for the, which, which saved me loads of space, by the way, uh, just for the pure synth platinum stuff, uh, the gospel musicians apps, I've discovered that you can do loads more stuff. Obviously, you can put all your samples in here, like, but I've also got like all my Cubase projects in here now as well. And I'll show you a bit about that. I've got all my Koala projects in here. So all this has freed up tons of space on my iPad. And if I quickly just run into the settings here and go iPad storage, you will see that I only am using 144 gig on my iPad. And once this kind of loads up, you'll see that I have, uh, what is it, 100 and, 112 gig free. That's remarkable because before I used this, it was up to around about 200 gig, <laughs> probably more than 200 gig of storage. Uh, so this is, this is absolutely marvelous. I would advise anybody who's got an iPad Pro with a USB-C connection, because, you know, it seems to be better uh, to get a SSD drive. Not, not necessarily selling the T7. I bought it. That's up to you. But, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty reliable. Um, it's, it's cool. It's, you know, not super expensive. Anyway, right. So for all that extra stuff, I've saved all that extra space. Right. How does it work? Well, let's just take a quick look at the um pure synth stuff or the gospel musician stuff right okay so i'm just gonna go and uh, let's see go to right so in here all this stuff here is now been sent to the t7 drive and if i open say blue beast let it load and i go to my settings and download, you'll see there it says Blue Beast Samples. Now, if I click on this, it's going to the external SSD. And this is super fast. So this is this is all now reading from the SSD, and none of this stuff is stored on the iPad. So so See how fast it loads. And it's just absolutely brilliant. It saved me all that space. And I've got all these great sounds back on my iPad to play into whatever I like. Now, okay, so, so far I have, let's close this and take another look at what's going on. So far, I've done Splat to Clat, Blue Beast, TGX 85, TGX 99, Pure Synth. And again, with Pure Synth, if we open this up, it load, it preset. If we go to whatever here, say for instance, Creative Sphere, do this. This is all reading now from, 
from the T7. And just to prove that's the case, if I go into settings, go to downloads, there it is, there the sample folder. Now, setting this up is super easy. I wish more apps would have the ability now to store to SSD. So for instance, with this, uh, like maybe FM Times or Neo Soul Keys, for example, it loads. I haven't done anything with this yet. So what you do is you go, right, oh, tap to select sample folder. Tap to select that external SSD. And I choose T7 and I go open. And what it does now, as you will see, is it looks for the stuff that I can install. So, you know, there's a download needed for that. Uh, that's not purchased, obviously. Um, not purchased. So if I... All I need to do is click on download and it downloads. Now, I'm not going to do this now because, you know, I, I need 8.6 gig and it's download is 4.1 gig. I'm not going to do that, right? Because it would, I'd be sitting here for a while. Not super long, but long enough to get you bored. Right, okay, so now we're back in Pure Synth Platinum. The only thing that I haven't imported now, now because some of these are massive in Pure Synth Platinum, is this uh where is it now let me just scroll up my fingers easier i have one that's not as there we go pure sign 60 it's only 68 meg so all i need to do now since i've already chosen my sample folder which is the external ssd is hit download and this will just download this sample right it's 68 meg it's going to be super fast right there you go in and it'll it'll go installing so it'll install it and it won't take long a couple of seconds i would have thought there you go installed now if i close this now and remember it's the pure sign let's go to uh the programs here and i'm gonna just scroll down till i find pure sign and there it is pure sign blips and effects lost in space this is now reading from the ssd and that's how fast it was now obviously bigger files take a little bit longer now to give you an idea of how cool this is i'm just going to quickly jump over to aum here we have a project that basically it's a, it's just for for uh, uh demoing scale and it was the last one i well it's a new one i'm setting up for ambient but these three pure synths are reading directly now from the ssd so if i go into scale and press this these are all coming from the ssd And it's, it's super smooth and super fast. No problems. Let's try one more. Awesome stuff. So no problem uh, running projects with multiple instances of pure synth. So it's reading from the it's reading from the uh, T7 really good. Now let's just swipe that up and and get it out of the way. I need to keep it open because of my mic. Now I use Sample Crate a lot uh, because it reads obviously everything that's in the files app, but it's it lets me quickly if I'm going to choose T7 and let's look at some of the stuff that I've got in here. Right, so I've put tons of daniel stuff in here and things like that you can also see the pure sin stuff in here as well you see but my koala projects loops wrap so if i open this right and i go oh what does this sound like how fast is that right it's just like it's on your ipad which it more or less is but it's reading from the disc it's reading from the t7 and that means i can drag and drop this anywhere i like right okay so cubase's projects let's just go back in fact let's go to the normal files app it doesn't really matter sample crate is the same kind of thing but just so you definitely have what's going on if i go into cubases now right uh i've managed to off offload a load of projects 
So these are the ones that are already on here. So if I'm in projects, obviously. So let's see what is not. Let's do this, right? Let's click on Temple. And that's loading the project. It's already in Cubasis. Okay, that's cool. Let's go and delete this. So let, we need to load another one. Let's load uh, that one. Go to Temple. And I'm going to delete this. So select it. Delete. Go to Trash. And make sure it's completely gone. Empty. Okay. Now, all I did, right, is if we go back to our Files app, right, let's go and look. In fact, we can close Cubases as well, which is cool. If we go back to our Files app here and I go to On My iPad and look for Cubases, there it is there. I'm going to look for Projects, open it up, and you'll see that that Temple project it is not there. It's only what was there. Now, you can share Cubase's projects with anybody. All you need to do is, they won't look like this. They'll look like a zip file, okay? But you can zip up any of this stuff you want, and all you need to do, this is kind of off the point, but, you know, doesn't matter. All you need to do is long hold and just go compress, and it saves this as a frame.cbp.zip which is a Cubase's project file and you can send that off to anybody else now I'm going to go to my T7 drive go into Cubase's projects where I put all my projects right I'm going to go down where it says temple now the best way to do this if we open this project you'll see we've got audio stuff there's no audio stuff in it it's all MIDI but if there was any audio stuff it'd be if you click on this, so don't forget, look, there's our temple.cubasis project, right? Click on this. If you click on the project, it will open the project, but it won't open any audio. That's important to remember. However, the easiest way I found to do this from your T7, and the quickest way, it's dead simple, is you hit select. Select any projects you want to drop back in there. And for, well, we're going to use our, yeah, let's use our temple one. I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to hit move, right? I'm going to go to T7. Uh, no, I'm going to go to on my iPad. I'm going to look for my Cubase's project folder. There it is. Click on that. Click in projects. Click copy. And now that's copied that project back into Cubase's for us, right? Which is just super cool saves all that space in my ipad for projects that just hang around there for months and months and months doing nothing when they could be just somewhere else and if we nip back into cubasis now let's just open it up there we can open recent doesn't really matter it's this but if we go to our media now we're in projects and we scroll down there is our temple project and it's been fully restored from our t7 drive in a matter of seconds no no work at all whatsoever so you can offload you might have super huge like i've got some really big cubases projects you know tons of audio stuff going on now one more thing before we go i'm i'm guessing you'll get you're you're getting the idea you can drag and drop everything from your your folder your t7 ssd into anything you like as you would normally normally do it because it works super easy if I just scroll up here, I have Koala, and I unloaded all my projects from Koala. If I go low, there's nothing there, right? Koala deals with project management super, super easy. Let's close Koala completely. Let's go into the Files app. Let's go to our T7 and look at Koala projects. And I am going to choose uh, one of mine, 132 meg, right? I'm going to click as soon as I, and don't forget now this is on the T7. This is stored on our T7 drive. I'm going to go into Koala projects. And I literally just delete, I moved everything over to the T7 and then just deleted everything from Koala. And you can always find your Koala projects thing. Um, is it on my iPad? I think it's actually an iCloud drive. You can find, oh, where is it now? Um, it could be on my iPad, actually. 
Where is this? There it is, Koala. You'll see that in the, there's no nothing in songs, right? Okay. So go back to the T7 drive, go into Koala projects, and I'm going to import this, this quite large one, Otherworldly Synth Pack. This is very cool. Literally, I need to do nothing here other than click on this and it opens it up in Koala. Now, it's going to take a couple of seconds, obviously, to populate Koala. Koala song imported. There you go. And now, in fact, I have this on keyboard mode. So this is one of my packs you can get from Gumroad, which is Synths. All sorts of cool synths. And if we look in here and we go load, otherworldly synths is in there. And if we take a look at the actual real files app here, go to on my, I think it's in iCloud. I think it's on, on my iPad. Go down here till we find uh, wherever it is. Koala, there it is, Koala. And in songs, now you will use otherworldly synths will appear. The T7 is really really good for me because apart from anything else i i could open say something like um i don't know let me search for it neon um not the new neon i'm del i'm that's a new sequencer i'm going to be um reviewing but neon audio editor I can drag up i'll use sample crate just it's okay and drag that up there like that Go back here. Uh, I'm all actually. I was already in T7, and I could say right. I'm gonna drag over some maybe this folder here. What's in here? Some bits and pieces. Oh, I make it just drag in the hybrids from this. So drag it over, drop it, and what that'll do is import from the T7 into Neon, and we'll be good to go. And there it is, as you can see, just loaded in. Right, okay. And then I can go into hybrids, of course, and see what's... There's no fair or unfair. This is Commander Lockhart. Awesome Bye, stuff. Dear, you. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Look, there was a look at the... Uh, t7 samsung t7 ssd and all the really useful stuff for managing your files and stuff that you can do with it I, I, it's changed the game for me i originally asked on the audio bus forum if anybody had any, any experience with using ssd drives with pure synth platinum but just to be able to access stuff that i don't need to keep on my ipad all the time is just marvelous anyway Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please strike the like, subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a Patreon. And I will see you guys later. Ta-da! Awesome stuff.